hello everyone and today i've decided to make another series on my channel we're gonna do a weekly shop my stash and everything that we're gonna shop from my stash we're gonna put it in this drawer which is right where i put my makeup on and where i record everything so besides my um review product which are not in here or in my drawers that i have to review um we're gonna have this um uh, we're gonna have this drawer filled with makeup that i want to use this week so let's start shopping all right so let's start with foundations first because i totally need to know which foundation i'm gonna use in order to choose primer and powder so let's see let's see i have a bunch of options um have used a lot of things in here i don't know which one i want to go maybe with something that i haven't used that much uh, i have not used this one that much this is the catrice hd liquid coverage foundation I tried it, I didn't like it that much. So I'm gonna try it again and see how it is. But this one is a little bit light for my skin tone. So I'm gonna take this Flower Beauty one that is Luminous Makeup New Skin Feel Light Illusion in Sable D1 because this one is a little bit darker. And I'm gonna combine these two. Next drawer in here is a little messy. I mean, there's a lot of things in here. I definitely need to get into this and just kind of like clean up a little bit more. But we're going to have to deal with it the way it is right now. Um, For primer, hmm, that's an interesting thing. But I have a primer that I have not used in a while. And it's this one right here. This is the NYX Hydro Touch oil primer and that catrice one foundation is a little bit on the drying side for me so i want to give it a go with this one so we're going to take this one as well and i'm going to get another one mm, no not this one i'm not even sure like i have a bunch of them in here Should just go with this one the Marc Jacobs one. I mean, let's give this one another go. This is the blurring one. So we're going to take this one as well. Now for concealer. Don't like this one that much. Don't even know. I think I need to go through these and just kind of clean up a bunch of things because I'm definitely not going to use a lot of stuff in here. So I don't know. I really don't know which one I'm going to go for. Um, let's do this one. I'm gonna go with this one for now. Benefit from Benefit Boeing Cakeless Concealer. So for powders, whew, I have a bunch of them. Um, I have used this one for the past couple of weeks, and I really do starting to enjoy it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with Winky Lux. Um, I haven't had this one. I haven't used this one in a while. So we're going to go with this one. And then for under eye... Um, should oh, Let me go with this one. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one this time. Don't like it that much, but I'm going to give it a go and see how it is. Uh, with the, the powder, with the foundation and the concealer that I got. This is from um, Seattle, London, Everyday Vacay. So our next drawer, we have bronzers and we have blushes. Um, I played with this, so I played with a bunch of these things. This one is almost done, but I'm not, I don't want to play with that right now. 
actually yeah let's play with this one so i haven't played with this one in a little while this is natasha denona bronze and glow so this is gonna be bronzer and highlighter two in one so that would be good i'm gonna use this one for that now for blush i don't know which blush i want to use I've been using uh, the cover FX one, which I truly like. I mean, I like most of these things in here. Actually, let's try Pat McGrath a little bit more. So we're going to go with Pat McGrath this time. All right, this next drawer, uh, it's a mess, but I mean, everything is. So I have all my liners in here. Actually, I'm going to go with this one from... Uh, blink this is the black liner because it always needs a black liner and then I need a colorful one I'm gonna go with this one right here this is Illuminati and this is the pink one and I want to go with another one that maybe is I'm gonna go with the other one that is from the same brand in blue so I'm gonna put these two as well Mascaras. I have a bunch of mascaras in here and I have some more where I need to try them on but um, I think I'm gonna stick with Makeup Geek and KKW for this week. I'm trying to finish uh, the Makeup Geek one. The KKW I still have a bunch of it but this one is almost over so I definitely want to keep this one. Okay, so for highlighters, we already have a little bit of a highlighter in there in that one from um, Natasha Denona, but I'm also gonna take this one. I haven't played with this one that much. I think I only play like two, two or three times and I wanna play a little bit more because I was intrigued by how beautiful this looked on my skin last time I tried it. So I'm gonna go with this one as well. And for the lip selection, um, let's do a lip liner. I'm going to go with Huda Beauty. Mm, I'm not sure. I cut off when I was filming the, uh, when I was filming my selection for the lips. But I'm going to show it to you at the end. Now, on this table, I have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes that... I need to try a little bit more so I'm just gonna choose from these because um, I looked at it the other day and I was like I need to start playing with these more because I don't know honestly um, I don't know how much how many times I play with these and how I feel about them anymore and a big big um, declutter is coming soon so i need to know how i feel about these so first i'm gonna go with this one this is the glam light pizza veggie lover so i'm gonna get this one to play with and then um should i go with this the violet voss you know yeah i'm gonna go with these two the violet voss one and the glam light all right now let's put these in order so i have this next one, the Touch Hydration Primer. And then we have the Marc Jacobs Undercover Blurring Primer right here. And then Foundations, Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. I have mine in Medium Beige. We have the Light Illusion my two powders this one from yet london everyday vaking the winky locks one which i have it in medium deep and it's called diamond powders this is how it looks inside it's a deep color so i think it's gonna go well with this one the good choice one because it's not as colored um next one in here we have the concealer the benefit bowing concealer number five bronzer we have natasha denona and highlighter 
Alright, so here's uh, how it looks inside the bronzer from Natasha Denona and the highlighter. Here's the highlighter from Huda Beauty, the highlighter, um, the highlighter palette from Huda Beauty. This is how it looks like. Um, and then, of course, we have the Pat McGrath Blush in Electric Bloom. And here are the products uh, for lips. I decided to go with a Private Society uh, lipstick, which is in plush. A Becca lip liner, which is in uh, Fearless. And then a lip gloss from e.l.f., which is in uh, Raspberry Truffle Kiss. And then a lip balm from Pericom MD. Next to it, we have the two mascaras, the, K the KKW and Makeup Geek, the Blink Liner, and the two Illuminati uh, eyeliners. Um, and so the Glam Light one has a bunch of greens. So I'm gonna wear a bunch of greens this week, I guess. And then the Violet Boss one has a variety, a nice variety in there. Um, but yeah, this is the two uh, eyeshadow palettes that we're gonna play with this week as well and this is how it looks like this is how my everyday drawer for this week looks like and i'm uh, happy with my selection i cannot wait to see how these are gonna be working together and uh, create some beautiful looks so thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and um subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one have a nice one i'll see you later